What I learned this week, and it came out in a variety of papers, it's cutting edge information. If this was MSNBC, it'd be breaking news. <laughs> okay. So our average body temperatures have decreased over the last 200 years. What? I know. What do you mean? <laughs> Me going, I know. Like, duh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I imagine you went what? And I went, uh, duh. <laughs> like gaslit you so hard. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so what I mean is, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. For anyone who's just tuning in, red face, a little tipsy, or it's Friday night, we're having some drinks. <laughs> so when they first started to measure body temperature, which is 200 years ago, a German dude, don't even want to say his name because I'm going to butcher it, but whatever, German, blah. So he, oh my God. <laughs> like they found that it was 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit was the average body temperature. And now it is 97.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which if you are in Celsius, like us here in Canada, AKA you're not wacko. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like all the world. Yeah, except for, one or two except for America. <laughs> it's like, it had to be the American exceptionalism that's really <laughs> blown up in your face recently. <laughs> Um, it's was a, a decrease of 37 degrees Celsius to 36.4. Hmm. Okay. And that's over, sorry, you said over 200, 200 years. Cause that's years. when they first started like to actually... have the capability of measuring and documenting um, and document. Okay, wow. Exactly. And so now is when all us, you know, scientists step in and we hypothesize. <laughs> so none of what I'm about to say is like grounded in any sort of fact, okay. but it's some, just... pre yeah, some predictions are, uh, antibiotics have been real helpful. Um, increased. Oh, in a good way. Not that the like overuse of antibiotics, but no, actually yeah. our bodies are not needing to fight off as many. That's so funny because it's so true. It's like we have gotten to the point where we've become like the good so thing has become bad. like yeah like we're so <laughs> used to antibiotics that we're now talking about antibiotic resistance which is mm. very important but we sometimes forget like you know there's a world where we don't have antibiotics right. and we all just and like we die way younger broken way <laughs> earlier yeah and like essentially they think what it is is that there's just like an increased base level in infections that would have been around 200 years ago but now we have antibiotics we have better hygiene we have cleaner mm. water like remember back in the day people would drink beer instead of water because like, like I know so, I, like I, I need to like look into that more because I have heard that like it was just like beer was what you drink because what it was it was sterile. sometimes it was like essentially like more clean potentially and than just water. the water access yeah in like you know certain times not like forever and That's then crazy. um crazy also vaccinations like these are the reasons like pretty you can understand why that prediction from scientists hmm. makes sense it's like I see. there's so less saying... infection our body temperatures are now like on average not as quote unquote hot okay but one other prediction, which is interesting, was that they were thinking maybe because we have heating and we have cooling, that we no longer have to essentially have our bodies like cope with the change in temperature as nice. much that maybe there's just like a lower baseline. But this study of the average body temperature decreasing, they found in uh, parts of North America, in Britain, in Europe, but also in some indigenous uh, tribes in Brazil and Bolivia where they didn't have heating or air conditioning. And also their body temperatures have just decreased. Mm. So as much as I thought that theory was interesting, there's right. some also additional sort of information that makes you be like, okay, maybe that's not necessarily the case. Huh. But this so decrease is- we don't know is, why necessarily, but we know it has occurred. Yeah, over a variety of uh, human contemporary cultures.